Hello Ramen Nation, Chris Cobain here bringing you another Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle. And this battle just yesterday and it is part of my mono, mono, excuse me, Monday content. Um, as you guys are probably aware by now, uh, every Monday on the stream, we do all mono battles, which is basically, uh, if you can take a look at the teams, it makes it pretty obvious. Six Pokemon that consist of the same typing, so I'm running Mono Poison, my opponent's running Mono Dark. I don't believe I've been able to showcase my Mono Poison team yet on YouTube. Uh, I've, I'm pretty sure I've shown you my, my fighting, I think I've shown you my steel, but I, I don't believe I've shown you my poison, so... Um, this is a really good team, it's, it's really fun to use, and it works pretty well uh, if I'm playing right, so... Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the teams. We've got my Mega Beedrill, Weezing, Nidoking, Roserade, Dragalge, and Drapion, so I get some power on my team, some really big threats. Uh, Beedrill, Nido King, Roserade's good, Ec and mine's actually Specs, which is somewhat of an off, um, offset. You don't really see Specs a whole, whole lot. Roserade is a really good utility with, you know, just the straight out Leech Seeds, um, and Sleep Powder, and all that other, even Toxic Spikes, you know, uh, with Black Sludge or something, but I like Specs. I think it gives Roserade enough power to be super dangerous, and you don't really see it coming a whole lot. But anyway, uh, my opponent's team, like I said, Mono Dark will be Umbreon, Me uh, Mega Sharpedo, the Zoroark, the Scrafty, the Spirit Tomb, and the Skun Tank. Now, immediately, if you're going to take a look at the teams, the first thing that should come to mind, or does to me anyway, is that my main Pokemon is Beedrill. Why? Simply because Bug Beats Dark. Um, he's super ridiculous fast, he's super ridiculous powerful, we know this, um, and he will completely destroy the Umbreon, the Zoroark, and the Mega Sharpedo, if uh, I can catch it without a speed boost on, or clear Smog away at speed boost once it Megas with Weezing. Um, Scrapped a little more bulky, but he could handle him with a couple of U-turns. The two things that are really going to threaten Beedrill in this battle are the, uh, the last two, Spirit Tomb and Skun Tank. Skun Tank mainly just because he's probably going to oak him with Sucker Punch. And Spirit Tomb because of his, of his bulk, his ability to Will-O-Wisp, and the fact that almost every Spirit Tomb in the world at least carries one of the following, Shadow Sneak or Sucker Punch, uh, both stab, and both very scary to Beedrill's ridiculously horrible defense. Um, so, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the battle. This was a really, really good one. Um, my opponent, Shiro, he's a really good battler and he shows it in this battle as well, so. I lead off with the Beedrill, I can U-turn out, and he leads out with one of the two things that I said threatened me. That is going to be the Skun Tank. Uh, so first turn, I'm just going to go ahead and Mega real quick. Skun Tank does have speed, we base 84 speed, I think Beedrill's base 75 before he Megas. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and Protect, uh, just to get my Mega up, obviously, so. He actually ends up going for Flamethrower here. Ladies and gentlemen, this move should take away my Pokemon License. I stayed in. The reason I stayed in is because I actually thought it was Zorak. Because he flamethrowered, and I wasn't expecting Skun Tank to be carrying flamethrower. So I tried to U-turn, and it cost me because he was actually the Skun Tank. And it bodied me. Um, so I bring in Naidu King. He's gonna bring in Umbreon. This is gonna take a minute. Uh, I Earth Power. He's gonna he's gonna heal up a little bit, so I screwed up, okay? That play there was absolute garbage, and I should feel like a piece of crap for it, and I did. Uh, I, I really, really messed up there. I just actually really thought it was the Zorak. Zorak is, is a good lead on a lot of teams anyway, uh, just because people don't, aren't ready for him that fast most of the time. So I, I just kind of, I don't know, he might have just baited me into that. I don't even know, uh, but... Either way, the risks of staying in there when both Skun Tank and Zork are pretty much eaten alive by Dragalge, don't don't do that. I wasted him quick for no reason. A Pokemon that could completely destroy this team for me. Um, but to make things a little better, because of the fact that Nido King is such a powerhouse and he was forced to switch out, he doesn't really want to switch anything into a, a sheer force you know, Life Orb, Sludge Wave, or Earth Power, potentially. Uh, so he actually just lets him die, so... 
Did I just switch out? This is the Zork. You can tell because he's got full HP, even though this gun technically flight guard damage on the Sucker Punch. Um, otherwise, I would have stayed in, went for Earth Power, uh, but I was pretty certain he was going to go for Dark Pulse there, so I decided to switch out. Uh, it was either that or Extra Sensory, so I, 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 I knew that was Zork, so I got him there. So on the switch out here, I'm actually going to go for Cross Poison. Um, kind of a risky play. I knew he was going to switch, but he could have easily switched in that Spirit Tomb. Knockoff was probably safer, but I think on some level he was predicting that. Um, so I went for Cross Poison, got the crit. Uh, this was a misclick, actually. Um, a Swords Dance, that was a dumb idea. And he's actually going to get a Drain Punch off and crit me back. I don't die, thankfully, uh, but I could have killed him and had a lot of HP left. Um, I'm actually a, a, a Sniper set with a Scope Lens to increase crit rate and cross poison has high crit rate. I don't know what the exact crit rate for cross poison is once I uh, with this set, but I know it's really high and I know it hits really hard. Uh, as you can see there, I uh, hit two straight crits with cross poison there and I take Scrafty out. So now he's gonna bring in Sharpedo, obvious protect coming here. I'm just gonna let him go because I don't have a lot of HP left. This is what shows how good of a player this is, this guy is though. I want you to point, I want to point this out to you guys. Um, after the protect, most people here, Mega, go with it. No, he does not. He waterfalls. This is a brilliant play to me, and it, it, it's not a... I don't see this a lot. Um, you shouldn't Mega Sharpedo unless you need to. Because what happens if he Megas there is I bring in my Weezing. I either kill or smog or he switches. His speed boost is worthless, and it's over, you know? Uh, his, his speed boosting is, is done at that point. But instead, he makes the right play, he keeps it not mega, he's able to switch, he can bring it back in, get that speed boost later, uh, which is not something, again, I don't see that a whole, whole lot, that's a really smart play for him. Uh, on his part, anyway. So now he's gonna bring back out what is the Zorark, again, missing no HP because of the Life Orb, you gotta keep that in mind with Zorark's on the field. Um, so I'm gonna switch into the Roserade, I know there's no threat of a uh, flint. well there could be, but there, uh, you know, it's not the Skun Tank, so he might not be getting Flamethrower. Anyway, uh, so he does just go for Dark Pulse. I take it pretty well. I can take another one. I think he might have been choiced, actually, but I'm not sure. Either way, he's forced to switch out into what is the real Skun Tank. I'm going to Giga Drain. I didn't really have anything better than that. Um, I had Dazzling Gloom in the set, but I actually switched out for Hidden Power Fire. So I've got Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, Shadow Ball for Psychic Coverage, and Hidden Power Fire for Steel Coverage. So uh, there's that. He's going to go for Strider with Sucker Punch, that was a little obvious for me, uh, so I'm going to switch out into Dragalge, who I said before, pretty much eats this alive for max HP, and I'm correct, he does about half with Sucker Punch, which was good damage, and I'm going to take him out with the uh, Dragon Pulse there, so that thing, that thing screwed me, bro. Back out comes Sharpedo, um, he's going to do the same thing he did last time, there's no need at this point with me at half HP to use... Um, to use uh, the Mega here, so he doesn't even protect, he goes straight off with the Crunch, again a good play, no reason to protect uh, at that point, you are going to outspeed me anyway, so go ahead and try to get damage off if I switch, which you should be doing, um, but again, he does not Mega, he's able to get a speed boost back again later, he's going to switch back out into uh, VD, the Spirit Tomb, uh, I think that was a slight misplay, I'm not, I'm not sure if maybe he predicted me to do something else. Uh, maybe a clear smog or something, uh, maybe predicting him to Mega, but I actually just went for Flamethrower, or a uh, Flamethrower, well, excuse me, Will-O-Wisp, and he switches into his Spirit Tomb, he had a Zorak in the back that one destroys me and two is already burnt, so that was a slight misplay, but, you know, misplays will be made. So uh, I'm going to actually switch right out into Leviathan here, he's going to go and will miss me too, which is completely fine. Um, this thing's actual moveset, I knew it pre-battle, I faced it before, it's actually, um, Protect, Will-O-Wisp, Sucker Punch, and, uh, uh, Shadow Sneak, so he's not actually carrying, yeah, that's, that's, that's interesting set, he doesn't have any recovery on him outside the leftovers, um, typically a lot of these like to carry Pain Split, or Rest, or, or with Sleep Talk, or Rusto Chesto, or something like that, but this one actually doesn't carry that, it's, uh, it's, an, it's a weird set. It's definitely a pretty interesting set, but it works. And definitely can work. It, unfortunately, it doesn't do a get a lot here because the first thing it does is get burnt, which kind of sucks, but you know. 
So he's gonna go ahead and sucker punch me. It does very, very little because of the burn. I'm gonna Dragon Pulse with my adaptability. ability. I am Assault Vest instead of Spec, so that doesn't kill. But it does more than enough for me to be able to take him out with anything else. Dragalge, unfortunately, going down a burn, but he already served his purpose. He wasn't gonna be a lot of help anymore anyway. Um, with, with the amount of damage he took from that sucker punch, it kind of made him a little worthless for the rest of this battle, so. So I'm going to go ahead and bring out Nido King for an easy revenge kill here. I could have brought out Roserade and Giga Journey, but I'm trying to keep Roserade at enough HP to be able to take out this Rourke, because this Rourke's going to be a problem if Roserade doesn't take it out. So Sword Droid, simple. I could have Earth Powered, but it's going to kill either way, and that's more powerful, even though both Rourke and Sharpedo are typically one-hit fodder anyway. Um whatever just go for it so he's gonna bring back out the Zorak here and he's gonna finish me off with a dark pulse it crits I'm pretty sure that didn't matter um, Dino King's got some bulk but I don't think enough to take a Zorak attack like that um, going back to what I said before I'm pretty sure this work is is choice in some way I don't think he was specs I think it was scarfed I don't I don't know for sure I'm just assuming because almost every Zorark in the history of Zorarks carry Flamethrower, and he can learn Extra Sentry, which makes really good fighting coverage. And he didn't go for either, both of which would be a much better option, so I'm thinking he was choiced. Um, but I don't think he was actually carrying Extra Sentry. I'm pretty sure he wasn't, because he would have used it on Nido King if he was choiced. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking maybe he had Focus Blast instead or something. And Flamethrower, but Flamethrower wasn't going to kill Nido King, so he was kind of forced. It, you know, that kind of stuff, so. So finally, he's going to bring in Sharpedo, protect to get a speed boost, and do the right thing, which is Mega. There's no point in not now. It's his last Pokemon. You might as well. And he's going to take me out with that Crunch. This thing is such a freaking powerhouse, man. It hits so hard. That's an easy one-hit KO from me at max HP, by the way. So it's down to just a one-on-one. -on -one. At this point, you know, it's looking pretty good for me. Uh, he's going to go ahead and go for Crunch. This does a crap ton of damage for a max defense wheezing. And thankfully, I get the Will-O-Wisp off. And uh, it, it's just basically a game of uh, of wearing him down now, really. Because even with that burn on, he's going to hit me hard, as you're about to see. He's going to Crunch. I'm at 64. I believe this takes me to 19, which is, top of my head, 45 damage. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's 45 damage. Either way, uh, it does a lot. It does a lot for me being a max defense set and him being a uh, burnt. So, uh, on that play though, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pain split, which helps me out a ton. Even though Sharpedo doesn't have a lot of HP, it does just enough to put me in range, or to put me in range to take him out. I can easily live another crunch, hit him with a uh, clear smog for no particular reason. That's the best move I have for him, because I carry pain split, will it was in flame, throws my other three attacks. And uh, he's going to go down a burn, which matters a lot because I think he would have killed me barely. I might have lived really, really badly after Black Sludge recovery with another another crunch. So, oh, I didn't click away, Sharpedo. Click. Poof. Okay, there you go. Um, so, that's the game. Really good battle. I definitely, uh, definitely made some bad plays in this game. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, I screwed up. Um... Uh, I think, I think in the beginning he kind of baited me with the flamethrower because almost, you know, it was pretty obvious that I was going to protect there. Sharpedo, or, Sharpedo. Beedrill always does it. Sharpedo always does it too, but still. Beedrill always pr protects to get the mega off because he's so slow, he's so frail. You can't really afford to let him take a hit, so you got to protect. So, on, uh, you know, n don't sucker punch there because that reveals that it's not the Zoroark. It's obviously at that point, well, some Zoroarks carry sucker punch, but... Uh, going for a flamethrower really baited me into thinking it was Zorak right off the bat. And I know that um, Skuntank can use those and does. I've actually had Tangrowth one hit by a Fire Blast from one of those before. So I'm aware it's a thing. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I just, I just thought maybe I could get him on it and I paid for it. And what are you going to do, right? Like I said, it was a misplay. Dragalge should have came in right there. Uh, both Rourke and Skuntank weren't going to do a whole lot to a max HP Dragalge, which Dragalge would have been at if I would have switched into that Sucker Punch, obviously. That would have been really nice. Um, but hey, misplays will be made. And I thought when I was going into this, when I saw his team, I thought Beedrill was my win condition. 
Um, and it turned out it wasn't. I actually put up a pretty a, a pretty good fight without him. Um, I just had enough power on my team, I guess. Especially with uh, Naito King helping me out by getting rid of that Umbreon. Uh, he couldn't switch in anything. It really it really forced him to lose the Umbreon there or something else. And he just picked the Umbreon. And past that, I was just able to get the win. So, uh, it was a really good game. I enjoyed it a lot. Hope you guys did too. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you do me a favor and hit that like button at the bottom. Uh, I really appreciate that. If you guys haven't subscribed to my YouTube, you can also do so as well. It uh, really helps me out and uh, it'll let you know when I upload all my new videos. I get new uploads up, uh, you know, every three, four, five, maybe uh, seven days if I'm slow. Uh, but I get up content pretty consistently, so if you guys want to do that. And if you haven't checked out my live stream, I encourage you to do so at twitch.tv slash xchriscobain. That will be your best chance to battle me and possibly get yourself on one of these YouTube videos if we have a really good battle. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you show up and have a lot of fun with me, alright? Uh, but that is it for me, you guys, so I will see you guys in the next video.